On Thursday morning, observers flying over Yellowstone reported a significant eruption of Steamboat Geyser, the world's tallest active geyser. A column of hot steam was observed rising more than 400 feet into the atmosphere, reflecting the release of massive amounts of hydrothermal energy. Visual documentation was obtained by Jackson Hole Wildlife Safaris through field guide Jeremy Hutchison at sunrise on New Year's Day. The footage shows the silhouette of the steam column contrasting against the snowy landscape, providing strong visual evidence of the scale of the eruption. Official Yellowstone National Park records indicate that Steamboat Geyser's major eruption occurred at 10.2 p.m. local time on New Year's Eve. This was the first major eruption since the 14th of April 2025, after a relatively long period of dormancy that had previously raised speculation about a possible prolonged dormant phase. Steamboat Geyser is known for its highly irregular eruption patterns. The intervals between eruptions can range from a few days to years, with no consistent precursor indicators. This uncertainty reflects the complexity of the subsurface fluid conduit system, which is highly sensitive to changes in pressure and temperature. Follow-up observations showed that the steam column continued to be released into the morning after the main eruption. This indicates that hydrothermal fluid pressure remained high and had not yet fully dissipated from the geyser's subsurface system. According to Yellowstone National Park's technical description, steamboat's major eruptions involved explosive releases from two main vents. The ejected material included hot water, mud, sand, and rock fragments that were repeatedly ejected before falling back into the vents. This process results in the circulation of high-energy and hazardous materials. Silica deposits left on the surface around the vent form a shiny layer, an indicator of intense hydrothermal activity and mineral precipitation due to the rapid cooling of hot fluids. The most significant geological development occurred when a magnitude 6.7 earthquake struck Yellowstone National Park. Strong tremors were felt throughout the caldera and surrounding areas indicating a substantial release of seismic energy along the regional fault system. The earthquake caused small landslides on several slopes, localized damage to tourist trails, and the temporary closure of several areas of the park. This measure was taken to reduce the risk to visitors from terrain instability and the potential for further hazards. Furthermore, the earthquake triggered the formation of large fissures in several thermal zones and volcanic plains. These fissures reportedly extend tens of meters and emit steam from the subsurface, indicating changes in fluid pressure and a redistribution of shallow crustal stress. Emergency response teams and park scientists were immediately deployed to map the location, dimensions, and characteristics of the fissures. Public access was restricted due to the risk of further collapse and the potential release of hazardous gases from the active hydrothermal system.
Scientists from the United States Geological Survey, USGS, expressed serious concern about the temporal proximity between the major eruption of Steamboat Geyser and the high-magnitude earthquake. However, they emphasized that temporal correlation does not automatically indicate a direct causal relationship. In response to this event, the USGS increased seismic monitoring, GPS, and INSAR-based surface deformation, and geothermal and geochemical parameters. To date, available data show no indication of an imminent supervolcanic eruption. <laughs>